Are you fed up with your freestyle leg kick sucking? I've been there, it's a real battle. So today, I'm gonna to tell you how to fix it. Good swimmers will often do lengths of kick with a kickboard as their recovery set. But for many others, the words kick and recovery simply don't go together. So what are you doing wrong? You may be kicking too hard, as odd as that sounds. You wanna get more power from your kick and more propulsion from your kick, so you kick bigger. But a bigger kick actually increases drag and that is gonna slow you down big time. You gotta think of your body as trying to go through as small a space as possible. And if you look at your body to go swimming through the water head on, and your legs are extending outside of that circle created by your shoulders, that's gonna increase drag. So you want your kick to be fairly small your heels must just break the surface of the water and not extend too deep below the surface. You want to keep your amplitude of your kick at about 50 centimeters or half a meter. So does that mean you should be kicking faster with less amplitude? Well, no. This is another mistake that swimmers make. Kicking faster means that you're using those leg muscles more, which means it's gonna tire you out more. It's gonna send your heart rate higher and your breathing rate higher to try and get oxygen to those working muscles. Now I can completely understand how this happens. You want to go faster and more effort equals faster. So you put more effort into your kick, but it will send your heart rate up and you'll pretty soon tire and overall you will actually end up swimming slower. The key to a good kick is timing and not frantic effort. You want your kick to complement and support your body's rotation and your stroke. So focus more on your pull and your, your arm movement and use your kick simply to support and complement this movement. Good swimmers will kick anywhere from two beats, that is one kick for every arm stroke, up to six beats, that is three kicks for every arm stroke. For most swimmers, swimming long distances or starting out, they should be at the lower end of the spectrum. But what if your ankles are too stiff? I'm afraid this is a common problem, particularly with triathletes who spend a lot of time inadvertently strengthening those ankle muscles to support them running, or even people who have come from other sports such as football. The problem is that with limited flexibility, your ankles don't wanna extend out into that pointed toe position that is required to finish the kick. This causes your foot to point to the floor of the pool and increase drag. And I've actually seen it so bad that when people only kick, they actually go backwards. The solution to this is to improve your ankle flexibility. Now you can do this with various stretches. You can even sit on your feet, such as when watching TV, so that you really work on that plantar flexion of your foot. Another solution is to use fins while you swim and while you kick. The force of the fins will naturally stretch your foot into a more plantar flex position. Of course, there's also technique to kick too. The main technique problem we see with kick is that people kick from the knees rather than starting the kick at the hips. With the kick, as we have said, your toes should be pointed and your legs should be straight. There is a little bit of knee flexion involved, but the main force of the kick comes from your hips. Our final point is around body position. If you have a poor body position and your feet are sinking, it's almost impossible to have an effective kick. But it may be that the reason your feet are sinking is because you don't have an effective kick and some of our previous points will fix this and improve your body position. If those previous points though don't fix your body position, then it may be some other part of your stroke that is causing the issue, such as your catch or your pull or your head position. Fixing this will lead to your feet being in a better position to kick effectively and will improve your kick. But there is one more tip that may help you improve your body position and improve your kick, and that is engaging your core. Now we're not saying you should 
contract your abs and make them as hard as possible. But try to think about pulling your belly button in towards your spine. This will help you engage that core and work it so that your kick doesn't just start at your hips, but it starts higher up your body and engages the whole chain, increasing the propulsion of the kick and improving your body position. Of course, getting your kick right is going to require practice. And one of the biggest mistakes we see is people just simply never practicing their kick. So it's time to do something about that. We understand why you avoid it, especially if you feel like you suck at it, but it is something that you need to work on and will improve your swimming. If you do feel like you really can't get it, put some fins on to start with so that you can actually feel like you're moving forward. And soon you'll be kicking a lot better and a lot more effectively. Have you had a problem with your kick? Have you improved your kick? Has your kick made a big difference to your swim? Let us know in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear from you. And remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to GTN for all of our swimming and triathlon videos.